In this video, I'm going to give a simple demonstration on how to communicate with the wellhead via the radio that is provided underground. So come along as we build this microcontroller and hopefully it can help you in your creations. Now, what, what we're talking about is there's a wellhead here that spawns automatically with this kind of uh, land-based drill. And if you go beneath the surface, you see there's a radio antenna with a microcontroller and a battery. So what we want to do is communicate with it because if we jump on it here, we see that our drill depth is 7.48, whatever, and well depth is the same. We want to see whether we want to get these values via the radio. So when we have a command center up here on this bait, on this uh, building, it'll tell us the values. So it's not working right now, but I'm just showing you what you need. So let's go to the workbench. What you need is four things in, in one configuration or another. Maybe you could, you could use an instrument panel and do it differently, but for the simple demonstration, we're using two um, dials where, where we get the drill depth and the well depth. So those two ones we saw. The battery is to power the antenna. You don't have to put it into these guys. They work without the electrical connection unless you want a backlight, but we don't need that right now. So this is everything right now. Just uh, simple electrical connecting the battery. Now our logic nodes aren't plugged into anything because we're gonna wanna use this, and I this is an empty microcontroller, I don't have anything in it right now, but we needed to find some things. So we can call it like, well, head radio, receive. So we need a couple things. We need our composite cable, that's gonna be speaking to the radio. We need, this. this, this is the radio. We need a frequency, which will be our radio wave frequency, which we know is 710 or 710 from people online. So thank you everyone that's told me it's 710. And in our case, we're putting two numbers that are the output for the well depth and the um, drill depth. And those are going to our um dials so drill depth drill depth well depth well depth frequency should be an output so my bad and this is our radio receiving so it's sending stuff and this one we're going to put as an output and when we're here we will connect it to the frequency logic now back in here, obviously we don't have anything set with these things right now, but we do want to set them. Okay. So for the frequency, it'll be a simple constant number goes to this and we'll put 710. So that's right here. It just, the, the number is going to the frequency. Whereas up here, for the radio, we need to ha go to composites and composite um, composite read number. So we're reading from that radio signal and we want to get these two things. So the radio signal, first one will set to channel one and second one will set to channel two and then we'll connect them. Another friendly person online said that channel one was the drill depth and channel two was the well depth. So we're just going to go with that and we can double check that in a second. But pretty much if you have this right now and these nodes are all connected as you have, if we spawn it and I have this uh, wellhead already with a uh, rod in it. So it should be reading 700 and, or 4.8 or 4.78. And if we go to these ones, we have the 4.8 and we have 4.8. Now, how do we get it to, to move a little bit? That is, well, 
if we seem to jump on this, we're making it change a little bit, and that should be the second value here. I guess now it's the, the one of them ends in 9.4 and one ends in 7.8. So 9.4 is the drill depth and 7.8 is the well depth. So we've confirmed it. So drill is 9.4 and drill is 9.4. So there you have it, a very simple way to read these numbers. If you have a control room, you can have the dial reading it or you can have a display reading it or whatever, but we won't get into that in this video. This one is just to simplify how to read from the wellhead and get the values. So thank you for watching. Hopefully learn something and stay tuned for more.